Hey there, are you tired of carving real pumpkins? Are you tired of the mess, the guts, the pain, sweat, and tears? And that inevitable pumpkin rot? Then why not try paper mache pumpkins? Fun, easy, and enjoyable to make, fake pumpkins are the way to go for an everlasting, rot-free pumpkin. Available in regular, traditional, and extra scary. To try a paper mache pumpkin today, all you need is some paper, you'll need lots of white glue or PVA glue, water, a few large balloons, a bunch of rubber bands, paint, and more time than I'd care to admit. To begin, inflate a balloon. We use punch balloons because they're extra thick. Then play with the balloon because you are most definitely not a child. Wrap the elastic attached to the balloon around the balloon. This pulls the little nubby bit flat against the balloon. Then proceed to wrap the elastic bands around the balloon without popping it. Stretch the elastic first so they fit around the balloon. And place multiple elastics in the same spot to push the balloon sides in and create the pumpkin shape. Continue until you have a pumpkin shaped balloon. You may need to use your imagination at this point. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Cut or rip strips of paper around one to two inches wide. You will need a lot. Then in a container you no longer care for, pour in around one cup of glue to three quarter cups of water. Or guesstimate as our demonstrator has done here. Really? We're cutting corners already? Then take a strip of your paper and dip it into the glue and water mixture. Toss in a few strips if you like and allow the paper to absorb the glue. Pull out a strip, squeegee off the excess glue with your fingers, and lay the paper onto the balloon. Repeat these steps until the entire balloon is covered in gooey wet paper. This may get a little bit messy. At least it's not pumpkin guts. You may also begin to mold the stem at this point as well. The knot in the balloon is a good spot to place additional strips of paper. Squish and wrap the strips together to form a stem shape. Cover as many pumpkins as you feel you can complete before Halloween in this manner. Then leave them to dry overnight or for a few days as our demonstrator did. Turn the pumpkins occasionally to allow for all surfaces to dry. And when you feel they may never dry because you are working in a basement, place a dehumidifier nearby to speed up the process. On a side note, make sure your balloons are closed tightly. Otherwise, they will make glue bubbles and deflate, leaving you with a deformed pumpkin. Unless that's what you want. It is Halloween after all. Continue to add strips of paper to the pumpkins allowing each layer to dry before adding the next, until three to four layers of glue-covered paper have been applied to the pumpkins. Our demonstrator used newspaper as her third layer because the shop towels she used as a base had a distinctive non-pumpkin pattern on them, just something to keep in mind when choosing paper or demonstrators. Some other things to consider. Ripped paper edges lay flatter than cut edges. Newspaper is easier to tear pieces off from the project if you need to fit a small piece of paper in a spot. But it was also more fragile when removing the paper from the glue and was prone to tearing. You can also build up areas on the pumpkins to create holes, bumps, or angry eyebrows. With torn and rolled up or bunched up paper, covered with a strip of paper to keep it in place. And heat guns or hair dryers are useful to help speed up drying times. To create a smoother surface, cover the dried pumpkins with drywall compound. Our demonstrator used the remainder of the monster mud she made for our previous project, which is essentially drywall compound and paint mixed in a 5 to 1 ratio. Drywall compound can be sanded with fine grit sandpaper or a damp rag. When the drywall compound is dry, you can leave your pumpkin in this state as our regular pumpkin product. Or you can sketch a scary face onto the pumpkin with a pencil and create the traditional or extra scary versions. When you are satisfied with your design, cut out the face using a sharp X-Acto knife and scissors. If you're feeling extra scary, punch holes around the eyes and mouth of your pumpkin. Then dye twine with paint for no reason other than you didn't like the color. And sew the twine through the holes in a complicated X pattern. If you are struggling to pull the needle through the holes, use a pair of pliers to aid you. Gesso! 
no one told her she could talk. Cover the drywall compound with gesso, which acts as a primer for the paint. Once the gesso is dry, it's time to paint your paper mache pumpkins. Start with orange acrylic paint and cover the entire pumpkin, excluding the stem. Then play around with green, brown, and maybe gray paint to get the perfect stem shade. Use an actual pumpkin top for reference as needed. Finish by dry brushing on highlights, dirt, or any other embellishments you like to make your paper mache pumpkin your very own. And now your paper mache pumpkins are complete! See, so much better than regular old real pumpkins for Halloween. Now take a bunch of pictures and share them to your socials. Or smash some real pumpkins because you'll never have to carve a pumpkin again. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Pam and this is Total Pamarchy, the craft channel with a little anarchy. If you like anarchy and crafts, consider subscribing. I post craftainment videos every couple of weeks. Until next time, never carve a pumpkin again? Mwahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah